Who do you think delivered the greatest Super Bowl halftime performance of all time? Well, Bruno Mars at Super Bowl 48. Did you say Beyonce or Prince? Oh, okay, I thought that's what you said. Well, here's what we know for sure. In these different and unprecedented times, the weekend show will be like no other in Super Bowl history. E.T. has the exclusive first look at the weekend Super Bowl promo. The 30-year-old says he's humbled, honored, and ecstatic. From a small local venue in Toronto to the world stage, I'm continuing this journey with my fans, taking them into the next chapter of our story as your 55th Pepsi Super Bowl halftime show performer. I can feel my face when I'm with you. The weekend's halftime show in Tampa is the follow-up to J-Lo and Shakira's performance, both produced by Jay-Z and Rock Nation. Jay praised the weekend's soulful uniqueness. So how will the weekend pull this off during a pandemic, and will he perform at the stadium? Well, we do know that the NFL has scaled back its plans for February's Super Bowl, estimating that only about 20% of the seats at the stadium will be filled. And as for halftime, the league says it will work within the safety guidelines established by local authorities. If the weekend performs remotely, don't worry, he got you. The 30-year-old put on a spectacular remote show, complete with fireworks for the VMAs. The three-time Grammy winner, who has dated Bella Hadid and Selena Gomez, is known to be a little camera shy. I love you guys. And rarely does interviews, but he did open up about his performance anxiety and needing to be sober on stage. I'm not up there lip syncing, <laughs> you know? I don't got backup dancers. It's all about me and the microphone. 